Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at AVAX. So this is going to be a higher time frame video. We will also do a lower time frame video, which will be up in the card above. Okay, now I really like AVAX, think it's a great project. Let us know down below what you think in the comments. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about here is obviously we do have limited data for AVAX, only from September 2020. And now but because of the fact we do not have all of the charts here, it makes it difficult to see where exactly within the count this structure is. So we need to be open to a couple of potentials and we can have a look at these and give a couple of options as to where price could be going. But we need to be open to the fact that there are multiple interpretations of this. So first thing I want to talk about is the potential of an impulse where we look at this as one, two, three, four, and then looking for this as a fifth wave. So this would be looking to actually complete into this high here towards this 120 so this would not actually be the high up here but rather one down this would make more sense within the count and would mean that this move actually starts from over here to the downside which ties in better for the next part of the thing we're going to be talking about so what i'm looking for here is we have a complete move to the upside as an a wave now if this is the case what we could then be looking for is the potential that this is either an a a b and a c to the upside or potentially it could be turning into a bigger impulse now the key thing here within this is that if if this is a completed move to the upside here what we could see is that we could actually see a much deeper retracement we have come down to this 50 percent which is sitting at this 1137 but it is quite possible here that this could only be an a wave to the downside and we could see a b wave up and a c wave down so we're going to go over that in a second now because of the fact that we don't know exactly what has happened within this count previous to this point i'm going to air on the side of caution and say that we have a potential of a three wave move these targets are lower and are more achievable in my opinions but we will obviously have more information once we get more structure but what i'd be looking for would be the potential that avex could actually see a move up to this 1089 in a one to one alternatively we have some lower targets here this 151 this 361 and this 513 as different fib levels based on the start of this move here now obviously i can't pull this right from the beginning so these targets could be slightly higher up and these tar these target areas you know we're gonna have to rely more on the internal counts than um, than these fib levels if we are pulling it off of this area just because we don't have a low to actually pull it off of now if this is the case what we could be looking for is this b wave like i said if this is the case what i would be looking for here is that potentially we are looking at this move in this manner where we have this as one two three four and we're looking for this as potentially completed a fifth wave now there are other interpretations which we're going to go over in a second so this would mean that we've actually completed this wave as an a wave here and we could be looking for the possibility of this b wave to the upside so the typical rejection for this would be between this zone of this 8291 to this 2886 now we do have some interesting levels in here this golden pocket is sitting right into this uh, previous support zone that we held at the top here so that would be an interesting zone if we do come back into it to see if we get resistance off that level so this is the one way we are looking at it where we have a completed move now you could also argue that within here what we could have is that we could still be seeing something like this where we have a triangle developing so if this is a triangle this could actually still fit into that idea of this being in this yellow fourth wave here and what this would mean is that uh, basically we'd still be within a fourth wave looking for this fifth wave to the downside now the target area if this is still looking for a fifth would be down here towards this eight dollars 25 to this five dollars 49 now we also do have this 0.618 and that would be based off of this as a wave one to this wave three looking for this fifth wave target we have come down towards the zone of the 0.382 which is a common target and then we still have this 0.618 which is lower down towards a 781 so that would tie into this idea of having an additional fifth wave to the downside so that's looking at it in this way like this so now if we are talking about the potential that we could still be looking for this as a fourth and looking for a fifth wave to the downside one thing we can't actually rule out until we actually take this high of this $30.89 is the fact that we could be forming this as a diagonal pattern to complete where instead of looking at this as a diagonal pattern what we could argue is that we have ABC within here and then what we look looking for is actually to form a contracting wedge shape to the downside so it would be a descending wedge pattern effectively and what this would be looking for is basically forming 
something to this effect where we're going to see something like this play out now i do think that this wave two would still be in play here if we are looking at this count in this way because uh it wouldn't be able to complete just into this single move here what i would want to see here is basically to see this actually have another push to the upside here for wave two but for staying below this zone of this 3089 so for as long as we stay below this 3089 need to be aware that this diagonal pattern idea is still a possibility now if we do break down here obviously we will have some we'll have some interesting targets and uh, i do have these little zones that are shown on the chart here which we do have some daily naked points of control weekly naked points of controls down here and also looking for the potential to back test this bit of structure here if we do actually look to break down here so that's just uh, some interesting areas that we have lower down there now if we are looking at this move rather in a different way and we don't want to say that this is a you know an a wave to the downside or a five wave move to the downside what we could potentially argue though i do not like this count um in my opinion it is unlikely where we are looking at this move from the high here as a a b and a c now you would be arguing that this is a flat with an extension in the c wave the problem i have with this is because of the fact that we have an additional low here it becomes more likely that this is actually just a five wave move if this is the case so what we'd be looking on the would be looking out for here if we were wanting to argue that this is a w and we do have a low in place here we could argue that either this x wave is here in which case what we'd be looking for is basically an a a b and a c to the downside or alternatively that this x wave is still playing out and uh, we still need to give it some room here now if this is still playing out this would could tie into the idea of this triangle as we discussed earlier now i want to just talk about this triangle quickly because of the fact we you know if we want to argue that this is a triangle in here where we're actually looking at this as rather a b and c what we could then have here is that this triangle could actually be completed and this could actually have completed into this 2156 the alternative thing that we could have playing out here is that this could actually be a triangle in the e wave where this becomes a b c d and e now we only get confirmation of this by the blue d wave touch point so what we'd be wanting to see is if we get a three wave move up here which actually fails to break this 2156 what we could see is a triangle actually developing here forming something like this where the e wave is actually in itself a triangle now this is uh, viable for as long as we actually hold this point here of this 1386 as a d wave low if we f if we break below this low this would invalidate the potential of the of the triangle continuing though it wouldn't invalidate the potential that the triangle has completed here now if the triangle has completed here we'd have to watch how the structure develops if we develop a bigger five wave move off the back of this one two maybe one two and then we break down for a bigger five wave move taking these lows here what this would then indicate to me is that actually we are looking for that fifth wave target that we discussed so that would be looking for the potential of coming down here towards this 825 to this 549 so this would be what i would be primarily looking for if we are looking at the triangle um, in that position but what we could also argue is that if this is a w x and a y what we'd be looking out for is that we could actually see this start to break down from this point for this y wave um, where this has just been a connector in here and we could still be looking for a deeper move now if we had to break down directly from where we are here that potential for a one-to-one -one would actually be lower down here towards this two dollar range we do have the 0.618 as a potential target as well which would be right here within this yellow box area and then we have the 786 and the 854 lower down here so this would be what you'd be looking for if we are looking for a direct break to the downside now like i said this x wave could still potentially be in play to the upside so what we could actually be looking at here is rather something like this where we are actually forming a flat correction now if we form a flat correction like this this wouldn't really tie into the idea anymore of that possibility of this being a um this being a five wave move if we get another five wave move to the upside here that then breaks below this low that would confirm this idea of a flat now what we would want to see here if we are looking at this potentially as a flat correction is we would want to see this move develop to the upside in a five wave sequence 
and we'd want to maintain this low here of this 1046 breaking below 1046 would invalidate this point now what we'd be looking here as a potential wave two position would be anywhere really between this 1243 and this 1550 so we're already within this zone the 618 is just below us potentially a swing failure off this low could be quite an interesting zone and then we could actually see a move to the upside if this is the case what we'd be looking for here would be actually getting a bigger move to towards this 4833 this would be confirmation and and then we'd be looking for that additional confirmation of a fourth wave here looking to find support around this $30 area before looking to push up in an additional five wave move so this could mean that we're looking for that potential to actually break to the upside here in a bigger way now if we are looking at that as a five wave move rather what we could still be seeing is if this is a low here and we do get a five wave move to the upside here this could in fact just be an a wave and then we could see a three wave move down and then another move up in a five wave structure and that could just be abc so that would tie into that idea of having the bigger abc pattern to the downside and that could actually look for um, this playing out rather in the way that we discussed here we were looking for this b wave so even if we do form a five wave move here something like this what we would be looking for is then rejection and then continuation down for the c wave so need to keep an eye on this just having a single five wave move to the upside here is not enough to confirm that we are in a new trending move here and this is my primary count this is what i'm currently looking for i do think that we have potential to to push to the upside here but we don't you know we still have that potential that this could still be within a fourth wave here where we're forming this triangle and we break down alternatively it could also be forming in a diagonal pattern to the downside so really until we take this this wave here at this uh, 3089 we need to be aware of the fact that we could still look to actually break to the downside okay so now i want to talk about some other ways that you could potentially argue that this structure is actually playing out and what you'd be looking for here is that you could argue that from further down here we've already had this one two and then this has all been our third wave so if you wanted to argue that we're looking to go to new highs from this point this would be one of the ways you would have to do it because of the fact of how the structure comes down here you would have to argue that this is a this is b and this would be a c as a flat correction now this falls within within the typical parameters for a flat correction it uh, it came down between the zone that we typically look for you know we came down to this 1.382 here so this is this is perfectly viable as a potential c wave if we are looking at this as a b and c now the problem i have with this is this does look more like an impulse you could potentially argue that you have something like this as a as an a a b and a c and it would be a very short c wave um it's not really my favorite way of looking at it but you know it, it's technically possible like i said we don't have all the, the information yet so we need to be aware that this is uh, you know something that can can happen if this is the case this could actually be a fourth wave completed unfortunately once again i don't have all the information yet so i can't pull the typical fourth wave location that we'd look for but what we'd want to see here is basically a break of these highs what we want to see is this move actually come up here in one two three four and five and actually take these highs now a typical area that we'd look for is a fifth wave based off of this being a fourth would we actually be here at this 178 to this 91 dollars this would mean that this high could only might only just get broken or alternatively we could even form um you know a five wave move that fails to actually take this high and we get a truncation and actually end our move below this point so we need to be a, a careful of that if we do see a bigger five wave move to the upside here what this could still fit in with is the idea that you know we're getting some kind of a truncation and, and if we move into the lower range of this box area i would start looking out for that potential specifically because we have um, these heavy zones of resistance up here we have some daily uh, naked points of control weekly naked points of control monthly naked points of control and then this would also bring us up into the 0 0.786 and the 854 of this move to the downside so we'd have to be careful moving up into this area even in a five wave move you know possibly we could even look to truncate here now the other way we could discuss this is that we could say that well what if this is an a this is a b and then we're looking for a c so if this is a abc or potentially you could also argue a w x and it looking for a y what we could see is the potential to actually push up um, a bit higher than what we were talking about here so what we'd be looking for is having not having that additional breakdown but looking to directly push up towards the zone of the 750 as a one-to-one -one. so this is something we need to be aware of if we do get a bigger move to the upside here and we actually take this high we'll have to see 
um, you know, how we react around some of these target areas. Once again, this 0.618 is sitting right here at this 146. This would be an interesting zone to keep an eye on, as well as that higher up here, we have the 786 and the 854. Now, these are typical areas that we could look for truncation. So we could actually see something happen around this 402 to this 300. And then that one to one would be up here higher up. So this is the alternatives that I'm keeping an eye on for in case we do start to break to the upside in a bigger way here. Obviously, you know, we will be able to get a better read of this by the structures that start to develop if we just form a single five wave move up that would tie into that idea of that flat and then looking for a breakdown if however you know we fail to actually break up at all possibly we are in that diagonal or that triangle looking for an additional five wave move to the downside and then possibly we would be looking for that three wave move to the upside the the idea of this as a flat or as a fourth would still hold if even if we do break down here again in um in a diagonal for instance or we have this as a triangle and we break down in a five wave move none of the other interpretations would change in the fact of that possibility of the abc or this being a b wave and then we look for a c wave to the upside so it wouldn't really change anything in that manner now i want to talk about a couple of things here okay so i just also want to talk about some other confluences here looking at a couple of ranges and then uh, a few things within the count if we have a look at this higher range so this is looking out for you know if we do move up into this higher range here within this zone here between the 2nd of april 2022 and the 26th of september 2021 what we had was a lot of volume traded at this point of control so if we do get a move up here would i be i would be interested to see how we react towards this zone of this uh value area low here and this naked point of control here which is sitting towards the 65 66 as well as that towards the higher end of this move we do also have this value area high which is sitting up in this up in this area here so we need to keep an eye on that as we move around now if we are talking about this as a b wave range here we can see here that we actually came down to this value area low already so that's just taking this as a b wave range here now we can see that we are sitting currently below this point of control so this could actually mean that we could see a potential for a move back to on towards this value area low so that would tie in with that idea of coming down one more time so i'd be keeping an eye on that if we do start to break down you know keep an eye on this low here there could be some kind of an interaction there even if it is just a temporary bounce now if we look at the entire range we can see that um the value area low is actually lower down here towards this zone of this 963 and we're still below that point of control also if we're looking at this in this way we can see that we do have this value area high which is sitting towards the bottom end over here which we hold as support and then loss so it would be interesting to see how we react around those levels if we do move to the upside one other thing that i've done here is actually use this speed resistance fan and what i want to keep an eye on here is to see how we react around some of these levels that we have on here going forward if we do start to lose this gray line here potentially that could mean we see a move down towards this orange line here and then if we do start to lose that potentially what this could mean is we could look to find support lower down on one of these other lines here so this is something that i'm just going to be keeping an eye on moving forward to see if we do get any kind of a breakdown into these levels here okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to discord come check it out it is free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care